here at Universal today with some exciting news. One of the most iconic restaurants at the parks, Mel's Drive-In, has been closed for months for a refurbishment, and today it is finally reopening. They've completely revamped the inside and the menu as well, so today we're going to try everything. Before we get started, I did want to say, Mel's is one of those places that we never really came to all that often because we just didn't care for the food and so when we heard that they were revamping the menu we were really excited especially with like the trend that universal's been on where they go in and they redo the menu and the food's just so much better after they do that so we're excited to try everything the first item is the Big Bopper Burger, and aside from a few of the desserts that they have here, this is the item I am most excited to try. It's basically a barbecue bacon cheeseburger, and then it has onion rings on it, so like, I don't know how that could ever be bad. And also, I feel like it's named appropriately because it's called the Big Bopper Burger, and it is big. Like, this thing is massive. This is really good. In the first bite, I didn't find a lot of sauce, and so I have a feeling that like most of the sauce is on like the center of the burger, so I'm gonna have to take a couple more bites to see how it all plays together. But what I really like about this burger is that the onion rings are nice and crispy, and the bacon is also nice and crispy, so when you bite into it, you're not having to like pull everything away. Like You can bite through it cleanly, uh, which keeps your burger nice and intact, so love that this is really good like if i was in the parks craving a cheeseburger i feel like this is my go-to burger in studios now okay i took a bite from the back where i could see some sauce on the burger and i still think it needs more uh, we have established in previous videos that i am apparently a sauce girly and i like it sauce heavy and even though i could see the barbecue sauce on it when i took a bite i really couldn't taste it so that's kind of my only critique for this burger but now i feel like one of the more important things is how their fries are. I personally like floppy fries like this, so here we go. The fries have potential. Uh, they're not great. They need a little bit of salt, in my opinion, which they do have salt at like the condiment stand, so you could grab that and add it yourself. But they're pretty good. Not as good as Richter's, though. So good news and bad news. The bad news is I've been sacrificed. The good news is it is for something that I actually enjoy. So up next, we have the chili cheese hot dog. The reason I say I've been sacrificed is Anna is just repulsed by hot dogs. Me, on the other hand, I love them. I think they are like a staple at a theme park, and I, I think they're a staple in every kid's diet. You got the like macaroni and cheese with hot dogs. I can keep going. But I've had a chili cheese dog. I was like in Tennessee at Sonic. I think it was the last time I had a chili cheese dog. So I'm kind of excited to have it. So I actually really like the poppy seed bun that it comes with. And the chili's not what you typically see on a chili cheese dog. So normally it's like the really dark, just like meaty chili. And this is like got beans and chopped onions and all kinds of stuff in that. It's almost like an elevated chili cheese dog. The only thing I would like to see more of. When I do chili cheese dogs, cheese. Like just tons of cheese. I want, I want the top of this hot dog to be yellow with so much cheese. That's probably not, like, that's probably a personal preference. That's probably not the way that chili cheese dogs are supposed to be enjoyed. But yeah, it's a good hot dog. Like, also, I just tried the fries. They're almost like Burger King's fries. Like, they're sort of like Burger King's fries. Like, <laughs> when I bit into it, I was like, yeah, have it your way. That's Burger King, right? Yeah, that's Burger King. So next up, we have the grilled chicken sandwich. I'll be honest, this thing looks like this looks so good and I love a chicken sandwich. I'm one of those people that went nuts for the Popeye's chicken sandwich and to this day I still believe that that is a culinary experience. Like I would pay, I have bought expensive chicken sandwiches. We're from Tennessee. They do like the hot chicken. Everybody's got a chicken sandwich. I pay like $20 for a chicken sandwich. Ten times out of ten, give me a Popeye's chicken sandwich. I, but this kind of looks, has a similar look. I don't know. I, I, like, I'm so excited that we have a fried chicken sandwich. Look at that chicken. Like, <laughs> look at all those chickens is what it just felt like I was saying. Uh, but it's just like a thick chicken breast. This is delicious. It's just like chicken. No, it's like a one. I thought it might not be multiple pieces of chicken. It's just one piece of chicken. Once again, I think the, the sauce. It's like a uh, avocado mayo sauce. Is that what it is? Like an avocado ranch. That's what it is. It's like an avocado ranch. I might just prefer mayo or something like that. Sort of like what Popeye's does. 
I keep realizing that I'm just comparing it to Popeyes. But though this is really, really good. This is the first time I've had a chicken sandwich in the parks that I actually like, I'll come back and get it. Like I've had chicken sandwich, and I'm like, yeah, that's fine. This one's like cooked well, it's crispy. This is delicious. Little sneak peek here of what's next, but I was afraid to try this because of the avocado ranch sauce. I'm not a big fan of avocado, but the way Tyler talked about it, like, I gotta check it out. Let's see. This chicken is so good. Like, we have chicken tenders that we're gonna try here in a minute, but like, this looks different than the chicken tenders, and like, I just want, I just want a piece of this chicken. Like, this is, this is where it's at. I feel like we need to take a break from the food for a second to just like talk about the aesthetic in here because it's not just the menu that they redid, like the interior looks completely new as well. It's so clean and fresh and everything looks so good. And Universal always does such a good job with the theming, like from the cars on the outside to like the retro sign, even the Coke freestyle machines in here, they look like an old like 50s refrigerator or something like they're a different style than the rest of the freestyle machines and the parks like the details are what make it they also have a jukebox like when you first walk in and like i really hope it works like i oh <laughs> tyler's shaking his head at me so i guess it doesn't uh, but that would be cool if you could like pick songs to play so this is just a classic strawberry milkshake i'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't know if i've ever had a strawberry milkshake like it just was never my pick like i'm always going to choose like chocolate out of any like choice of milkshake flavors chocolate's going to be my go-to but this thing looks amazing like the sauce down the side and like the little topping it looks really good so let's give it a try this straw was so hard to like get the milkshake through because like it's a thick milkshake which means it is a good milkshake this is delicious like like i said i'm never really gonna choose strawberry personally but i really enjoyed this more than i thought i would but i think the star of this are these little like crumbles on top i don't know if it's like cake or cookie or what it is but i'm here for it like honestly that is my favorite part i kind of wish the milkshake had it like all the way throughout but this is good if you like strawberry milkshakes you're gonna love this I alluded to this a second ago, but now we have just classic chicken tenders. There are a couple of different sauces that you can get. I went with classic barbecue because to me, that's the correct choice. Um, it is the exact same barbecue sauce that they had previously, and the chicken tenders look the same. So I have a feeling this hasn't changed much. Yep, that is a standard theme park chicken tender. Uh, there's nothing special about it, but I'm never gonna complain about it. And if you have kids, that's perfect. But what isn't standard, are the onion rings that this came with. So you get to choose like between fries or onion rings for like all of the items that come with a side. I'm not sure that there's anywhere else that you can get onion rings, like maybe over in like Springfield in the food court, but I don't know, these things smell good. I had them on a burger, but like haven't tried them by themselves yet. These pass my onion ring test. So there are two things that I need for me to approve an onion ring. And that's the fact that when you bite it, the whole onion doesn't try to come out, which it didn't. And the second one is that it's salty enough because onions are inherently sweet. So if they don't put enough salt, like in the batter, then it just tastes overly sweet. I'm not a big fan of it. This one is salty enough. So it passes both of my onion ring tests and I'm a big fan. I am an onion ring guy. Uh, anywhere I go, I get onion rings if they have good onion rings. And if they've got them on the menu, I haven't tried them. I have to try them. I'm gonna say something that might be controversial. My favorite onion rings are from Dairy Queen. I know it's weird, but you know the sweetness thing that I was talking about? They're not sweet at all. They're like really salty and buttery. I love Dairy Queen's onion rings. I mean, I've had some like standard restaurant onion rings that are probably better, but like fast food onion ring. DQ me up. I don't, I don't know what their slogan is. I'm gonna go for it, but also. Ketchup or barbecue sauce. Great on onion rings. Great. That's a good onion ring. I uh, I enjoy that right there. Uh, it's like real crunchy. The batter sticks on it real good. Like it's kind of falling off in places, which is just like to me a sign of a good onion ring that's like battered right there. It's held its crunch up because this has been sitting here for a minute and it's still crunchy. Good onion rings. So next up, we have the namesake, the Mel's Famous Burger. How famous? I guess we'll find out. Uh, and I got to try the first burger, so I figured it was only fair that I tried this one. Although yours did look more up my alley. 
So since we're at Universal, I figured it's only fair to compare it to other burgers at Universal. So we just had the burger at Circus McGurgus, which we thought was really good, cooked well, had that like bad, just cooked it taste. This one has something similar going on. The sauce on this one is good. Like, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's just like the mayo ketchup, but there's a pickle in between the sauce and the tomato. Now I was giving it a little bit of a bite, and I don't remember there being a pickle on that burger. The goal when you're at the theme parks is, or here at Universal at least, is a Wimpy's burger. I don't think this is quite as good as the Wimpy's burger, and if I was coming here to get a burger, I'm probably getting the Big Bopper burger. Is that what it is? The Big Bopper burger. I'm probably getting that one. This one's good, it's just that one is better. <laughs> I'll just be honest, that one's better. And finally, we are working our way into a salad. So this is a California Cobb crispy chicken salad. They also have a grilled version and a vegetarian version, which I would assume just doesn't have the, uh, the, the, the chicken. It also comes with a avocado ranch, which is what was on the chicken sandwich. Also, what I noticed, I thought it would just have like the chicken strips on it, like that kind of chicken. No, it's the, um, it's the chicken that was on the, the sandwich. Yeah, it's that chicken, so I'm excited about that. I'm gonna pour this ranch on there. Thick ranch, thick ranch. A little trick that I learned in my school days. Actually, I didn't learn it. I don't know what I learned. Um, it's not really a trick either. I think this is exactly what you're supposed to do with these. Just be careful. Ooh, that lid's not on there very good. This is dangerous. Living dangerously. Check that out. Get it dressed. You gotta get the salad dressed. That look crazy shaking it. A little bit. Look. It's perfect. We did good. That is a hearty salad. It's like something my mom would make with the bacon and the chicken, all that good stuff. At Circus McGurkis, they have a new like dragon salad. It's got like quinoa and some fruit. It's a lot fresher. And honestly, that's my new favorite salad in the parks, like either park. This one is more for somebody who's like, I don't like salad, but if you put bacon and fried chicken on anything, I can eat it. And it's kind of like a, I was gonna say a healthier option. To get the grilled one, it's probably not bad. Like, grilled one's probably not bad, but like, we went, we went full blown. I like it. This is like my kind of salad. I mean, I like salads, but there's times that you just like, you want something more from a salad. This is the kind of salad that you go home to your friends and you're like, oh, I just had a salad for lunch. And this is what you had, so you're sitting there secretly laughing because you're so full. It's like a Zaxby salad. Like, I had a salad for lunch. Yeah, you did. And now we're moving on to desserts, which is what we think are like the most interesting things on the Mel's menu. We already tried the strawberry milkshake, but that one doesn't count. Uh, first, we have the cookies and cream pie. I'm gonna ask you guys a question and then I'm gonna give you a second to answer before I answer. What do you guys think of when you hear cookies and cream? That's right, you think of Oreo. Um, and even though they don't call it an Oreo pie, there's literally like a mini Oreo on top of the pie. This looks really good, but I am gonna preface this. It looks a little cheesecakey, and I personally don't like cheesecake because I'm not a fan of cream cheese. So if I make a face when I eat this, that's probably why. Oh my goodness, no cream cheese. It's very like whipped, you know, like I don't know if there's a lot of whipped cream in there. I don't know what this is made of, but it's made of happiness and chocolate goodiness. Um, the crust, like the Oreo crust is delicious. If they could just like serve that, uh, I would eat it honestly, but this is really, really good. I'm honestly not the biggest like pie fan. Like I like a pecan pie, like mom makes a good fudge pie. But that's not my favorite kind of dessert. But this, this is special right here. This item scares me. Uh, so this is a strawberry lemonade pie. It sounds extremely bizarre. We've had several people tell us that it's delicious. So like, I'm hopeful, uh, but I don't know. Like strawberry lemonade is just not something I ever thought I'd see in pie form, but 
who knows? It's not bad. Um, this is definitely not a pie that is made for me. I'm not a big like citrus dessert person. It is really tart. Like the face I was making, I was making that because it's sour. Like that lemonade flavor definitely hits. Um, I much prefer, prefer my strawberry lemonade in drink form, but uh, if you like like fruity desserts or like a key lime pie kind of thing, you'll probably love this. I think the flavors are really good. It's just not for me. Sometimes, you know, Anna has a different taste than I do, so I think it's I think it's important that we both try it. I love key lime pie. So when she said it sort of tastes like that, I had to try it. I got a big bite. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. This is good. Like, if you like key lime pie, you're gonna love this. It's sort of like, I wanna say it's almost like a key lime pie, just like, Strawberry, which sort of makes sense because it's a lemonade strawberry pie. Now that I really break down what it is, it makes a lot of sense. If you like the key lime pie at um, Thunder Falls, Thunder Falls, you're gonna love this. There is one thing I have to say about these pieces of pie. They're not huge. Both of them have been good. I tried the Oreo one; it was good too. They're six dollars pretty expensive for a piece of pie. When they said $6, I thought I was getting the whole pie. The whole pie. Um, I'll be honest, but it's just one piece. Six is kind of expensive. So we're interrupting pie service for another milkshake because they melt really quick and they just they just got this milkshake out to us. So this is just the vanilla milkshake. It also looks like it has, I gotta be careful tilting it like that. It also looks like it has like vanilla wafers on top of it. I love a good vanilla wafer. Let's try it. I didn't get it on me, so that's good news. I almost always get stuff on me. It is really hard to drink out of this straw. Like, I guess it's thick. Paper straw, thick milkshake. That's tough. It's good though. It's just a good vanilla milkshake. I think these will be very popular as the heat continues to rise here in Central Florida <laughs> uh, every summer. You know, it's absolutely brutal, so this will be a good place to jump in, get your milkshake, cool off for a minute, because the AC in here is great, and the milkshakes are good. Next up, we have the apple pie. I'm gonna be 100% honest. This looks just like the apple pie that is at Richter's. It doesn't look any different. I, and I would know, I just had this like two days ago from Richter's. Um, my favorite apple pie in the parks is that the three broomsticks? And it's like a big, hefty, like that, that bowl of apple pie is $4.99. And once again, $6. So I hope it's good. It's Richter's apple pie. Um, it's the same one. It's got that cinnamon bite to it. The, the crust is really good. It's got the sugar on top of it. And I think they like bake it into it. So it's like, you get that crystallized sugar taste. It's a good apple pie. It's just not, it's just not three broomsticks. Like if you haven't had the three broomsticks apple pie, that's life changing. This is good. And you can also get this uh, with ice cream. So uh, as I say, easy mode, you can get it with a, a side of ice cream, which is always good on apple pie. But yeah, if you've had Richter's apple pie, it's this. And finishing it off, we have the chocolate shake. Uh, last but certainly not least, this looks so good with all the syrup down here. I didn't really try to get any of the syrup with the strawberry one. And judging based on like how getting the milkshake through the straws has been going, I don't know if it's going to be successful. But I'm gonna shove it all the way down there and give it a give it a good try. Let's see. It worked. Uh, the very first little sip I got was just straight like tasted like Hershey's chocolate syrup, you know, like out of a bottle. Pretty delicious. It reminded me of my childhood. Um, very good. It's just a classic chocolate milkshake. Like it's a good chocolate milkshake, but there's nothing extraordinary about it. If you're hot and you're feeling some chocolate, it's right here. This will do it. We made our way outside because we wanted to tell y'all what our favorites were uh, because it just like, you know, 
Seems like something we should do. <laughs> what do you want, do you want to go, go first? first? Okay, um, in no particular order, I don't want to have to rank these, uh, but my three favorite things that we had today are the Big Bopper Burger. That was really good and it was a lot of food uh, for the value. And then number two is going to be the Cookies and Cream Pie. That pie was delicious. That was officially my favorite pie in the parks. And the third thing is the onion rings, which like kind of seems crazy because it's not even like a menu item. Like it's it's just a side, but they're really good. Um, I will give you an order because I feel like that's my responsibility <laughs> as a person. <laughs> so. All right. Number three, coming in at number three, the strawberry lemonade pie. Love it if you like key lime pie, you have to get that. Number two is another pie. It's the Oreos, it's the Oreo pie, the cookies and cream pie. It's, it's so good. It reminds me of a pie that you, I used to get at uh, Burger King. Yeah. I, like, I, I like that for some reason. And number one, that chicken sandwich. That's the first time I've had a chicken sandwich in the parks that I really, really enjoy. It's like a chicken sandwich you'll get at like a restaurant, like chicken breast. It's it's hearty. It's big. Or Popeyes. It, or Popeyes, yeah. <laughs> or a fine dining like Popeyes. Crispy. I really like that chicken sandwich. A lot of fast food references in this one, but it is a diner, so I feel like it's kind of appropriate. But that's it for today. Uh, if you guys visit Mel's Drive-In and try some of the food, let us know what you think about it. But if you want to check out our Cheap Eats video from Islands of Adventure, you can click this one right here. But thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!